Hey guys, and welcome back to an episode, episode of Fake Card Friday. So Slate sent me this interesting card. <laughs> so this is Zalog Emperor Dragon Dark Scorpion at the end. So literally, you just took the head of Don Zalog and put his head on top of Chaos Emperor and Dragon. It looks so stupid. <laughs> like his head is way too big for its body. Like look at that. Like big old head, long lanky neck. Like. <laughs> Hello? It just looks so funny. So Slate sent me this card. I guess it's created by Slate because it's there at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and put his uh, link in the description. So, you know, people were talking about Dark Scorpions getting us some more support. So, here you go. Here's some more support. <laughs> oh my god. So, it, and it's pretty much the same exact stats as Chaos Emperor because it pretty much is Chaos Emperor. So, it's dark. Level 8, 3000 attack, 2500 defense. Uh, it's effect reads. Uh, cannot be normal summon slash stat. Must be special summoned from your hand by banishing two dark scorpion monsters from your graveyard. Alright, so instead of banishing a darker light like Chaos Emperor, you're just going to banish two dark scorpions. So it shouldn't be too hard if you're just running a dark scorpion deck. You can pay 1,000 life points, send all cards in both players' hands and on the field to the graveyard. Then inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent for each card sent to the graveyard by this effect. So pretty much, Chaos Emperor is dragon. Word for word, except instead of banishing a darker light, you just banish two dark scorpions. But it's Chaos Emperor Dragon. Exactly, Chaos Emperor Dragon. Like, not a lot of creativity went into this card slate, but the question is, would this card be banned? You know, uh, it would definitely be a hella broke-ass boss monster for Dark Scorpion, but if it was just for Dark Scorpions, the thing, would anybody play the Dark Scorpion deck for this card? That is the question. I mean, that's like asking... You know, would you play Light Thorns without JD? You know, pretty much. It'd be, would you play Dark Scorpions with for this card? That's the question. And, uh, it's a fact, it's just, it is Chaos Emperor Dragon. And you gotta think, why is Chaos Emperor Dragon banned? Because he pretty much just takes the whole duel, he takes the whole duel and just throws it out the damn window, and this guy does the exact same thing. He sends all cards in both players' hands and on the field to the graveyard, and flicks 300 to your opponent for each one, and pretty much essentially you're both top decking at that point. Um, yeah, and depending on what top deck you like, it pretty much just brings the duel to a screeching halt. Uh, very unhealthy for the game. Cast Emperor, he is the most powerful card. Card, single card by himself banned on the ban list. He, 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 is, he is the king of the ban list, you know. I kind of imagine that, you know, all the cards in the ban list are like locked up in jail, you know. Sangan has his own cell, Shadows has his own cell. The Chaos Emperor, the Chaos Emperor Dragon is the king. He is literally like in, in solitary with his, in a stray jacket with his, uh, with his arms and wings tied up and a muzzle on his mouth, just completely tied up in this, you know, in a solitary at the center of the earth, locked up. Because there is no way in hell this guy's ever getting off the list. But, uh, you know, Slate decided to go ahead and just slap uh, Don's head on fucking God's Emperor and just do this. So, and he wanted me to go ahead and review it for uh, Fight Card Friday. So, there you go. Like I said, and creativity, I, mm -mm, it's not creative. I thought you were going to give me something creative. You know, you made this card. It's not creative at all. It's literally Chaos Emperor Dragon. And therefore should be banned, you know. Like I said, the only thing that wouldn't probably get it to be banned is because you know, it's it has to be played in Dark Scorpion. You know, it's not like Chaos Emperor, you can, as long as you have a Dark and Light, Chaos Emperor. You know, it's it's just Dark Scorpion. So then it might not be, but, you know, I, I doubt their Dark Scorpion effect. I mean, I guess you get a laugh and a chuckle out of it, but come on, man. You could have been a lot more creative with it. So tell me what you guys think about this card. And, uh, yeah... Tell me if you guys think this card will be banned or not. And tell me whether you guys think Chaos Emperor will ever come back. He won't, but tell me uh, if you guys think uh, it will come back, why it should come back, and uh, what you think would happen to the game if it did come back. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Oh my god, I just thought of what happens if he come back. Like, yeah, I just thought, like, Burning Abyss? Like, hello? Like, Banish the Dark and the Light, Summon Cast Emperor, Send Everything? Oh, my monster, of course, gets its effect because it was sent to the graveyard. <laughs> no, never remember. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just thought of that. No, no thank you. All right, so, yeah. Go ahead and tell me what you guys think about uh, Cash Emperor and this card in the comment section below. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.